Since the demise of the Manor team at the end of the 2016 season, the F1 grid has stood at 10 teams, but the series has experienced a significant commercial boom in the interim. It's resulted in a number of parties publicly expressing a desire to join the F1 grid, culminating in the current plan for Andretti to race alongside General Motors brand Cadillac. However, nobody at the FIA could have predicted the strong opposition from some of the sport's stakeholders. So let's look at the overall situation, how the FIA president has responded to the criticism and what we can expect in the future. Now, on January 2nd, 2023, Andretti and General Motors announced their intention to bid for an Andretti Cadillac F1 team and the value of a works entry from the United States' largest automotive company or even a project with its blessing and support seemed extraordinary. But that has not received the support that Andretti would have hoped for from the F1 community, and FIA President Mohamed Ben Sulayem has taken offence, pointing out what he perceives to be a negative reaction to the Andretti Cadillac announcement. His remarks are quite surprising given that no significant F1 party has publicly criticised the Andretti Cadillac bid. F1 responded to the news with an admittedly unenthusiastic statement that chose not to name these major parties and instead stressed that various conversations are ongoing and that the championship cannot be jeopardised. Meanwhile, no team commented publicly about it, and it appears that the fan reaction has been overwhelmingly positive. While some official responses have been lukewarm or muted, the negative reaction actually came privately, which the FIA president has now made public. The root of this is thought to be a lack of agreement on whether the proposed Andretti General Motors partnership is what it appears to be, and whether it would benefit F1 as much as a full manufacturer project would. After being repeatedly rejected by senior figures in the paddock, teams and the championship itself, project leader Michael Andretti has changed approach and swapped his independent effort for one with a manufacturer association. Andretti appears to be doing exactly what Wolff and others have asked after criticising Mercedes boss Toto Wolff for being disrespectful to his organisation. Last week, Andretti even stated, One of the big things was, what does Andretti bring to the party? Well, we're bringing one of the biggest manufacturers in the world now with General Motors and Cadillac. Though General Motors' interest and involvement has been well received behind the scenes, most existing teams are wary of it being a badging exercise masquerading as a full General Motors works team. Essentially, there's uncertainty about how involved General Motors will be. In fact, it's believed that all but one of the teams have stated their opposition to expanding the grid for Andretti Cadillac. Alpine is an exception, as Renault is expected to supply this new project with an engine starting in 2026. Perhaps Andretti and General Motors anticipated some opposition, as evidenced by messaging like this from GM President Mark Royce. Cadillac will have the opportunity to showcase its innovation and technology going up against the best international luxury brands. At GM, we always take a lot of pride and joy in transferring the cutting-edge technology developed by our race teams to our production vehicles and taking it from the track to the street. But even if GM intends to collaborate closely with Andretti rather than simply emblazing the car with a Cadillac badge, there is another perhaps more pressing issue at hand. Dilution has been at the centre of any discussion about new entrants in recent years. Liberty Media and the existing 10 teams have advocated for a franchise model that strengthens existing competitors while increasing everyone's share of an increasingly larger pot as F1 grows. To guard against this, the most recent Concord Agreement included a $200 million anti-dilution fund, which effectively acts as an entry fee for a new team to be shared with all existing entries. This would be a one-time payment that would provide some short-term cover for the amount of revenue that the current teams would lose if another team took a share of the revenue. However, it appears that the majority of the existing teams now agree that this figure is too low in retrospect. They believe as F1 grows, they will lose an even bigger share of the pie. The likely argument is that this raises the entry bar for a new team even higher, with full involvement from an automotive manufacturer a priority, something that several stakeholders clearly doubt would be the case with Andretti Cadillac.
Now, whether this is a personal vendetta against Andretti or a case of F1 banding together against any threat of dilution will become clear as other bids enter the fray. But for the time being, there is clear and strong opposition to this specific proposal, which may become entangled in an ongoing F1 FIA power struggle. After F1 appeared to be leading the way in courting Audi and convincing the German manufacturer to commit to a 2026 engine project and purchase the Sauber team, the Andretti Cadillac concept appears to have won Ben Sulayem's support. His plan to solicit expressions of interest was quickly followed by the Andretti News, in which Michael Andretti mentioned the FIA president. Ben Sulayem has now felt compelled to publicly express his disappointment that this has been met with an unattributed lack of enthusiasm. Sulayem posted a message on Twitter expressing his surprise at the reaction to Andretti and Cadillac's announcement, albeit without specifying who it was aimed at. It's surprising that there's been some adverse reaction to the Cadillac and Andretti news, Ben Sulayem wrote. The FIA has accepted the entries of smaller, successful organizations in recent years. We should be encouraging prospective F1 entries from global manufacturers like GM and thoroughbred racers like Andretti and others. Interest from teams in growth markets adds diversity and broadens F1's appeal. Here it appears that the FIA and F1 management are not on the same page. F1's official response to the new Andretti announcement was cryptic from the start. It stated, There is a great interest in the F1 project at this time with a number of conversations continuing that are not as visible as others. While this was obviously a reference to other teams and manufacturers seriously considering an F1 entry, there is another aspect to this. According to sources, rival teams and F1 have been unimpressed with the way Andretti has gone about trying to get support for his own entry, and has been quite aggressive in his politicking in public and privately among paddock figures. While other serious potential entrants have kept a low profile and done their bidding in private, Andretti has spoken frequently in public about his ambitions, even holding a press conference to announce his expression of interest. Rivals believe there's been too much lobbying, and it's understood that Andretti's efforts to get all teams to sign a letter of support for his entry at last year's Miami Grand Prix did not go well. The fact that it only received two signatures, from Alpine and McLaren, says it all. Teams are also concerned about the political ramifications of Andretti using Ben Sulayem's help to rally support and push through the entry, at a time when relations between the FIA and Formula One management are not as good as they once were. The timing of Sulayem's social media messages and the Andretti announcement also gives them the impression that they're being aggressively gained. According to one source, he's annoyed the other teams, which isn't a good start. Although F1 teams have no formal say in the acceptance of a new team, it's clear that Formula 1 management, particularly CEO Stefano Domenicali, will act in the interests of current competitors when it comes to grid expansion. If current teams are unhappy about increasing the number of entries, and there is even a chance that one of the current 10 will be forced out of business by the arrival of an 11th, there will be no change of heart. Every additional team added to the grid makes it more difficult for the current competitors to compete financially, so compromises must be made. Only if a team adds value to everyone will it be supported, and there are other serious contenders lining up alongside Andretti. F1's responsibility is to select only those who add value to the sport as a whole, and there may be better options available beyond Andretti who have not yet been made public. While Dominicali has not made any public statement since Andretti's latest announcement, it's believed that his stance from last summer remains unchanged. He will do everything possible to protect the current grid. They've invested in us, and that's the reason why we do believe that the community of the teams has to be respected, he said of the current teams. Today, it's not a problem of having more teams, because we have a list. Some of them are more vocal than the others, but we have a lot of people or a lot of investors who would like to be in Formula 1. But we need to protect the teams. This is really another sign of a very healthy system. So what are your thoughts on the scandal? Is the Andretti Cadillac entry overly ambitious given that the current grid appears to be against it? And should Formula 1 prioritize keeping their current entrants happy over having more cars on the grid? Let us know in the comment section down below.